Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we saw about the basic architecture of Spark and then about the entry points like Spark context, SQL context and Hive context and as well as the difference between Spark session, Spark context and SQL context. In this video, let us try to understand the parameters of Spark context. First parameter is the master. So what is a master? Master is nothing but it points to the URL of the cluster it points to. Next comes the app name. The app name specifies the name for your job. Next comes the Spark Home. Spark Home points to the Spark installation directory. And next is the PI files. The .zip or .py files to send to the cluster and add it to the Python path. Next come the PI files. The .zip or .py files to send to the cluster and add to the Python path. Next parameter points to the environment. This is nothing but the worker nodes environment variables. Next batch size. The batch size is nothing but the number of Python objects represented as a single Java object. Set 1 to disable batching or 0 to automatically choose the batch size based upon the object sizes. Or we can use minus 1 to use an unlimited batch size. Next parameter is the serializer. This is nothing but an RDD serializer. In future videos, we will try to understand what an RDD is. Next comes the conf. This is nothing but an object of Spark conf to set all of the Spark properties. Next comes the gateway. We can use the existing gateway on the JVM. Otherwise, initializing a new JVM is also done. Next comes the JSC, which is nothing but the Java Spark context instance. Next is the profile. This is nothing but a class of custom profiler used to do profiling. So the default is spyspark.profiler.basic profiler. So among all these parameters, the master and the app name are most commonly used. So now you would have got some basic idea of what are the different parameters of Spark context and for what they are used for. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.